your desktop icons. Um, the more icons you have on your desktop, the more Windows has to go through and draw and refresh um, every time you go through and minimize a window and whatnot. So any icons you're not going to use, get rid of them. Um, I'm definitely using my documents icon, my computer icon, my team viewer. I will definitely be using Internet Explorer. As you can guess, I have Firefox on here. I'm not going to be using it. You can just remove those icons from it. Anything that's like documents, put it in your document folder because that's one less thing it's got to draw on your desktop. Extra program shortcuts you're not going to use, get rid of them. Um, just keep on your desktop what you're actually going to use. Um, things that you can find on your start menu, get rid of them off the desktop. It's just one extra thing you're not going to have on your desktop. It just makes things faster and minimize, maximize. Um, so there we go. And I'm actually recording with um, Cam Studio. So you can see I've cleaned that up. Uh, another thing for you to do now, since you've cleaned that up, empty your recycle bin. Make sure your recycle bin is empty. It does take up a little bit of extra space on your system. Um, having it empty is to your benefit. Um, now, speaking of free space and whatnot, um, if you're using a standard hard drive or a normal desktop, uh, you should go through and defragment once you go through and delete a lot of stuff. Um, anytime you uh, do a lot of updates, I mean a huge number like source packs, things like that, uh, it's a good idea to go ahead and um, do a defragment. But if you have a solid state hard drive, defragmenting does nothing. It'll show that you need to defragment but don't. It does nothing. Because um, the way a solid state hard drive works is it just jumps to um, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Right click. Um, it just jumps to that position of the hard drive. It doesn't have to seek it out. Um, so every time I ask for data, it just it's pulling it point to point. There's no moving back and forth of a drive that's so defragmenting does basically nothing for you. Um, you will recuperate a small amount of space by defragmenting, but the overall drive wear and tear on a solid state, it's not worth it. Um, but to defragment, you would right click on your My Computer icon, go to Manage. Um, I'll probably make a separate video for defragmenting at some point, but here's just the gist of it. You should see an option here to go to this defragmenter. You'll see the hard drive. You can do an analyze on it to see just how bad it is. And the blue is contiguous files, the red is files that need to be defragmented. As you can see, it wants me to defragment. I'm not going to. No, my battery is running low. Um, but as you can see there, there was stuff that needed to be defragmented. But I'm not going to bother. Um, I'll save it for another video on services and whatnot, but that's just general, real quick, how to uh, get probably about 15 to 20 percent of performance on your system with just a couple options. Just right clicking here and there and turning off extra nonsense. Um, another little thing for you is to um, right click on your start menu on the whole options you get here, sort it by name. Um, this kind of makes it default back to the normal sorting method. It's the first thing it's going to do is try and check it by name. Uh, it sees that you have a special priority on how things are arranged. It's going to take extra time to arrange your menu. Um, if you just sort it by name, it switches it and tells it, hey, don't bother, just show things up. Uh, that's something you should do every once in a while as you install programs just to keep that setting flowing. Um, and like I said, I'll do another video on actually cleaning up startup entries. But uh, that's a quick 
performance optimization uh, on little small things. And I'll see you on the next video.